Hey, what's up guys? It's Angel here today coming with you with another tech review today on another great product. Um, I happened to just get it. Finally, the battery came in so I can fully do this review. So I hope you enjoy this laser video. Alright guys, so today I'll be talking about the Laser 303 also known as your 200 milliwatt laser now first things first off the bat if you get these from a Japanese dealer they can probably say a hundred thousand milliwatts which is nowhere near true at all the highest there is right now that's out it's by this brand called spider and they do this laser that is two watts and it's around three hundred to five hundred dollars depending on where you get it from but to clear that all up, if you're getting a hundred thousand or like even higher than that, like three hundred thousand or say seventy thousand milliwatts, all that is just straight bogus. I just want to go ahead and get that off the bat right now. But this is basically a two hundred milliwatt, somewhere in the range of like one hundred fifty to two hundred milliwatts. And what we have here today is a two hundred milliwatt laser. I have checked it, it is two hundred milliwatts. And what I want to tell you guys, if you want to know where you want to get these batteries, they are 18650 batteries. Now, the thing about these batteries, they are not your normal battery as you see. If you look at a battery like a AAA, look how small it is in size. These are very powerful batteries, and they provide so much more power. And as you see here, it's 6,800 milliamps. And that's just even great because that means it's going to last even longer and it's lithium ion. But they're very powerful batteries. I'll put it in the link of the description below where you can get those from. Now, as you see here, there is a key for this. Now, if I turn the key to this way, it has a light on there. Different little lights. There's a green and a red one. And as you see, that turns it off to stop people from getting in it or using it. And it's actually a pretty good feature if you don't want, say, like your little brother or little sister to get into this. Um, it's great to use, um, especially if you have the battery in here, because this can be harmful to the eyes. Now, one other thing about these lasers is that they do burn matches. So if you want a burning matching laser, here it is right here. Once again, they also have other names besides Laser 303, but mine did say Laser 303. So I'm going to go ahead and flick the switch on here, turn the key on, and you do have to have the key in to operate this product. So I just wanted to give that as another heads up. Now, another part on this is going to be your lens cap, your kaleidoscope lens, which gives you a star lens as you see here and I have that on another one now this part is what makes the laser burn so if you see here now the laser is gonna be very big so you see how big like it the um, pointer is now well it actually had focused it even more so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little demonstration of how bright this really is alright hold on Sorry about that. So, I don't know why it's not working right now, but I'll go ahead and see in a minute. But like I said, this is what the uh, laser looks like. Now, there's another part. I don't really recommend you doing this. I'm only doing this just for the video. But this part, as you see right here, this is very fragile. Do not ever take these off unless you know what you're doing with these this is basically your focus point and how the laser turns on and how it works and all that so like I said don't take that off at all I wouldn't recommend it but if you want to that's on you like I said this can be harmful to the eyes but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this thing to turn on and I'll come right back with you Alright you guys, so I got it to work now. Turns out I had the battery actually the wrong way, but now I fixed it. So what you're going to want to do, like I said, is you're going to want to turn this to the green side as you see here. 
then after that make sure you have either the orange goggles or some sort of protector for your eyes for this because I don't even have mine on right now like I said this is just a demonstration to show you how this actually works so here we go the glare is probably gonna be a little more than what I'm seeing so here we go now as you see here when I'm looking at it right now it's actually very bright the glare is really strong and I know you can see the streaks as you see here now that's with the focus point at its highest level whereas this could burn the match now if I put this down and put it towards the regular normal level it'll tend to be a uh, I guess straighter or more focused beam instead of it being a little clotted beam but it's still bright either way they're very bright lasers and you can see this other one right here that's actually the reflection coming from this way and then you have the other two over here but this is what it will look like now I have another one for a demonstration right here now as you see here this is a 5 milliwatt with the same lens but this lens is bigger and it actually shows more of the stars on this so I'll go ahead and take that off because you really cannot see the true power of the light so here it is now and you like I said you can barely see what it looks like that's the main problem with these and that's why a lot of people don't really use them but like I said I definitely would just recommend using like a regular voltage battery for um, these this requires the AAA um, as you see here they require AAA because of how small it is and there's no need for it and as you see here it's barely showing up because it's not as bright of course now with this this is very big more power and it's harmful to the eyes now another thing with these batteries or lasers the more power in these when you look at this at night you can like outside it's really really bright so like as you see now where you can't really see the beam that you like want to see but if I go outside right now and show you what like the beam will look like it's very very big and it's really long it actually goes for probably miles depending on how the light span really works because the light span is always going to be different but um that's about it I just wanted to show you some extra stuff for the video and if you did like the video remember to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down also comment and tell me why in the description below and if you haven't already please check out my video on the Tiavana Perfect Tea Maker it's a really great product really cool um, I definitely recommend you getting it if you really like teas I know this is a tech video but I'm gonna tend to do a little bit more now um, follow me on Instagram Antle.Savage and once again I just hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one peace